everybody, it's Abby Cooper and Lewis Cooper coming at you from our office in Minnesota where we are currently getting ready for a Skype. Shout out to Mrs. D. Young's fifth grade in Iowa. We will see you soon. We are super pumped. That's why we're all dressed up. Lewis is in her, his bow tie. I'm in my new Just Keep Reading shirt. We are so ready for this. So while we're all fancy, we thought, you know what? Let's make a video for our friends all over the place. Isn't that what we thought, Lewis? He's like, no, maybe that's what you thought. I was thinking, I wonder if she has any food. I don't, sorry. Cool, good talk. Anyway, we get a lot of email and regular mail, all kinds of mail, which is awesome. Keep sending it, we love mail, mail rules. Um, and I get a lot of questions about writing things and reading things and poodle things. Um, and so I thought I would start making some videos that maybe answer some of those questions. So one question that I get a lot is, where do you do your writing? And one of the things about writing that I think is like the best ever, aside from the fact that you can do it in your pajamas, that's a good thing too. But the other thing I think is the best thing ever is that you can write from anywhere. So like right now, we're in my office, but I actually don't do most of my writing here. I actually do most of my writing, let's see, when I am waiting in line for things, um, when I am eating snacks, I get really, really inspired during snack time. Um, I've done a lot of writing at the orthodontist. <laughs> True story. Um, yeah, orthodontist, that's a thing. Wear your retainers now, because when you become an old person, and you have to wear a retainer, like me, it's a lot less fun, just to warn you. <laughs> but those chairs are really comfy, you know? And so you can do a lot of good writing from there. Um, I've written on everything from my laptop to a notebook to uh, napkins and paper towels, really anything I can find. Um, and you know, some of those things end up being my best thoughts and ideas. So you really can write from anywhere. I do it all the time. But in the event that I am home, not eating snacks, not waiting for the orthodontist, I am usually up here in my office, and I thought I would give you a little tour of that today. So, are you ready? It's kind of messy. Sorry. Not that sorry, because sometimes mess is fun. It gives you ideas. <laughs> e oh, spinning is so fun. Sorry, guys. Come spin with me. I just, this is horribly embarrassing. All this time I've had a spinny chair in my office and I've never taken advantage of it until right now. Woo! Okay. Anybody else dizzy? I am. Cool. Okay, let's stand up now and go for a tour. Wee! I might fall. Just a warning. This is going to be a great video. Anyway. Wee! Oh yeah, the world is wobbly. Okay. Well, over here we have my blanket fort slash poodle snuggle den. <laughs> I like to be comfy when I write. Um, so usually I'm in a bed, on a couch, in a giant floor arrangement of blankets. But that's okay. Nobody says you have to sit in a stuffy chair or a spinny chair to write. You can do it from a comfy place. There's my comfy place. There's my couch in case I feel like being comfy but a little higher up. Yes, I have pillows with my book covers on them. Thanks, Mom. Over there is a chair where Lewis likes to sit and look out the window a lot of the time. Uh, <laughs> come on, let's go to this corner now. Over here, I have my mat. Oh, hi, Matt. And anytime I Skype with a classroom, I always mark down where they are so I can look at that. My goal is to eventually hit every 50 state every 50 states. That sounds funny. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, right? So, if you're in one of those states that doesn't have a dot, call me. Or if your state already has a dot, you can also never have enough dots in each state. Let's see, over here, oh, this is so cool. Check this out, guys. Look at this shelf, okay? So, one of my teachers that I had in high school, I kept in touch with, and he was awesome as a teacher, and he's like an awesome human too. And so he actually made me this shelf, like made it out of wood and paint and other stuff you use to make shelves. And now it's right here. So 
you know, be nice to your teachers because they're awesome. But also, they might make you a nice shelf someday. Pretty sweet, right? Over here, my bookshelves. I do a lot of reading all the time, but sometimes when I'm in the middle of writing too. Sometimes I get stuck and reading sometimes helps get me out of a funk or just feeling like it's not going well. It gets me out of a slump. Reading really helps me kind of get back into my creative, excited mindset. So I do it a lot. And plus just having some of my favorite books close by um, is just great motivation. And it's like being surrounded by your friends who are cheering you on. Like, go Abby, write the book that could one day sit next to us on this pretty bookshelf. More books, more books, more books, more books, more books, more books, more books. Oops, you can't see. Wee! <laughs> Can you tell I'm not used to taking my computer around the room with me? Sorry, thanks for bearing with me. Um, and then right here where we started, is my desk where I can see the whole room. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of different spaces within this room where I do my writing. Um, and I really like moving around. And sometimes if you get stuck, all you need to do is find a fresh space. So if I'm stuck at the desk, sometimes if I move to the couch, it's over there, <laughs> then all of a sudden I'm ready to go again. It's like weird, but awesome. Um, so even within your classroom, you know, if you're, it's just not working at your desk, maybe ask your teacher if it's okay for you to move to a different spot or maybe the floor or whatever other cool spaces you have in your classroom. Uh, sometimes just seeing the room from a different perspective can be really, really helpful. All right, well, I hope you have enjoyed the tour of my office. Once again, I'm Abby Cooper, author of these books. This was Lewis Cooper, resident poodle. <laughs> yeah, he tires out pretty easily. Um, if you liked this video and want to see some more, I'll be posting more on my YouTube channel, Abby Cooper, A-B-B-Y-C-O-O-P-E-R. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram at underscore A Coops, A-C-O-O-P-S underscore, two underscores. You can never have enough underscores. All right, happy reading and writing. Bye.